Hello viewers, welcome to this video, right? Um, in the first part of the video, we saw some uh, theory part. We covered all the concepts that are involved in GlustreFS. And in the second video, we saw how to uh, set up the GlustreFS components, how to install different components. And in this video, we will be looking at creating a simple replicated volume. So the idea is we will be creating a volume with two bricks and the volume we will be creating is uh, is going to be a replicated volume. And then we will see how to mount this volume using GlustreFS protocol uh, on the client machine and then write some data and then see how it's replicated between uh, the, the two storage nodes in our storage pool. All right. So back to the terminal, I've got Gluster 1, Gluster 2, the two storage nodes and the client machine here. So, okay, the first thing is we need to create a volume, all right? So for that, I'm going to uh, have all the volumes in a directory called Gluster. So I'm going to make a directory called Gluster. File exists, rm-rf. So that was from my previous testing. So I'm going to make a directory makeder slash gluster on both uh, the nodes makeder slash gluster okay so on the two storage nodes gluster one and gluster two i've made a directory i've created a directory called slash gluster so that's the directory where we will be having our bricks all right so uh the brick one on gluster one and brick two sorry brick one on gluster two will be under slash gluster all right so i'm on gluster one right now i'm going to create a volume now so gluster volume list at the moment you can see there are no volumes defined so we are going to create our very first volume the command is gluster volume create the name of the volume let's call it volume one so the volume that we are creating the name of the logical volume that we are creating is called volume one it's going to be a replicated volume so replica say number of replicas you want so at the moment we've got two storage nodes so i'm going to set the replica to two so it will create the brick on uh gluster one and gluster two so you can set the number of replicas as per your liking say for example if you've got 10 uh storage nodes in your storage pool and you can create a replica of two, three or four or up to 10 because you've got 10 storage nodes. Okay, and now you're going to specify the bricks. So my brick, because I've specified two replicas, I need to specify two bricks. So one is Gluster1, the first server, colon slash Gluster. So that's the directory we made here. And now we're going to create the brick. So I'm going to call it brick one. So it doesn't need to be uh, called brick one. You can name it uh, whatever you want. And then similarly, Gluster two. So that's our second storage node slash Gluster slash brick one. So I'm creating a brick called brick one in both the storage nodes, Gluster one and Gluster two. So this particular command Gluster volume create can be run on any of your nodes in your storage pool. Okay, it doesn't have to be on Gluster 1 or Gluster 2. Uh, even though you're creating the two replica, two bricks on Gluster 1 and Gluster 2, if you've got multiple storage nodes, you can log into any of your storage nodes and run this command. Okay, so it's going to throw some error now. I'm going to explain why that's the case. So firstly, it says replica two volumes are prone to split brain. So in general, if you're trying to set up a cluster, the cluster has to be an odd number. So one, three, five, definitely one is not a highly available solution. So start with three, five, seven or so on. So because we've got an even number of uh, nodes in our GlustreFS storage pool, it says about that warning. So we don't have to worry about that warning for learning or development purpose. So if I uh, go ahead and create it, uh, by typing Y, it's still going to say it's failed because uh, volume failed because we are trying to create this volume uh, or the brick in the root partition, which is slash cluster. Because I'm running an LXE container, I haven't attached a second hard disk. So the proper way would be to add a second hard disk and then create a partition and then make the directory slash cluster on the second partition, not on the same partition where your operating system has been installed. So, okay, and it also gives me a suggestion to use an option called force 
to override these warnings okay so let's run the same command now cluster volume create name of the volume volume one and i'm going to create two replicas which will create two bricks one in each of the storage node and finally i'm going to add uh, the option force and now it says volume create success please start the volume to access the data so we've created the volume cluster volume list and we can see the volume that we've created volume one we can also look at the status of the volume cluster volume info that's the command and you can see here we've got the volume the name of the volume is volume one type of the volume is replicate and in the next video we will see how to create a distributed volume and uh, status is created we don't have any snapshot we'll come to snapshots in a later video and transport type is tcp number of bricks is two and you can see uh, the bricks here we've got two bricks one is in cluster one storage node and the other one is in cluster two storage node and that's the path to the uh, brick that's shared that's exposed all right so now we need to start the uh, uh, the volume in order to access it so the command is cluster volume start the name of the volume which is volume one okay so now it's starting the volume and now if i do cluster volume status and you can see some data here cluster volume status so status of volume so that's the name of our volume and you can see here those are the two bricks that got created that's on cluster one and that's on cluster two and it's listening on port 49152 okay so now if i do netstat minus nltp you can see here 49152 it's listening on that particular port for that brick so each brick you create will be listening on a, a random port number okay so that's cluster fsd and if i go to cluster 2 and do the same commands cluster volume list cluster volume status 49152 you will get the same output basically netstat minus nltp and it's listening on port 49152 cluster volume info type is replicate status is started so previously we saw the status has created so now the volume has been started and you can see the status as started the number of breaks and so on all right so we've got our volume created and now we need to access this volume from our client machine okay so we've created the volume the replica volume the replicated volume and we've created brick one and brick one in both cluster one and cluster two if i go to cluster one and do ls cluster and you can see the directory brick one here and similarly in cluster two if i do ls cluster you can see brick one so that's the name of the brick that we created as part of the cluster volume create command okay and now i'm going to go to the client machine and see how we can mount this volume and start writing some data okay so i'm going to create a directory called uh, volume one on the client machine so this is where i'm going to uh, mount the volume so this is again from my testing i've already created that let's remove that make directory slash mnt volume one okay so i'm going to mount the uh, glassrefs volume under this directory okay the command is mount and the type is cluster fs mount minus t cluster fs and you have to give the path of the volume so cluster one colon volume one so it shouldn't be the path of the uh, cluster so for example here um ls slash cluster we've got cluster brick one but that's the path of the brick but not the volume so on the client machine you have to specify the volume not the brick all right mount minus t the type of the uh, mount we are going to do is cluster fs and we are going to specify the volume so here i have specified cluster one but you can mention any of the uh, storage nodes of your storage pool. I can use Gluster 1 or I can use Gluster 2. 
it doesn't matter so anyways it's going to mount the directory it's going to mount that volume so mount volume 1 I'm going to mount it in under MNT volume 1 okay cool so that's mounted mount and if I grip for volume you can see here uh, we have mounted MNT volume 1 which is the volume from the Gluster 1 and the type is GlusterFS read write and so on okay so I'm going to CD to MNT volume 1 okay so I'm inside the mounted directory and now if I try and create a file for example touch um, file 1 for example and do an ELS so we've got file 1 we've created we've mounted the volume MNT volume 1 on our client machine and th that's the volume that we mounted we've returned the first file called file 1 in our volume so it should have returned the it should have returned the data in both these bricks brick 1 on cluster 1 and brick 1 on cluster 2 because it's a replicated volume let's test that let's see if that's the case okay so back in cluster 1 if I do ls cluster brick 1 you can see there's the file 1 that we uh, created from our client machine similarly in cluster 2 if I do ls cluster brick 1 you can see file 1 here as well okay so basically we've got file 1 in both uh, in this brick as well as in this brick because it's a replicated volume okay all right so uh, now let's see how to delete uh, the volume that we just created okay for that I'm going to unmount the directory and mount MNT volume 1 sorry you mount MNT volume 1 RM minus RF MNT volume 1 okay so now back to Gluster 1 or Gluster 2 you can run this from any of your storage nodes Gluster volume list Gluster volume list we have volume 1 Gluster volume status everything is looking good so now I'm going to stop this volume and then delete it Gluster volume stop name of the volume is volume 1 do you want to continue it just gives us a warning yes so that's now stopping the volume and uh, once it's stopped we can look at the status of the volume cluster volume status volume 1 is not started cluster volume info we have that volume status is stopped so now we can remove that volume cluster volume delete volume 1 a warning yes deleted cluster volume list so now we are back to where we were so we don't have any volumes we've deleted all the volumes but still the data will be there ls cluster so we've got brick one brick one we still have the file so we need to manually delete that cluster brick one and I'm going to do the same on Gluster 2. RM minus RF Gluster Break 1. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. We created a replicated volume for high availability. And uh, whenever we create a file in this volume, it gets replicated on both Gluster 1 and uh, Gluster 2. And in the next video, we will see how to create a distributed volume and see how the file gets distributed across different bricks. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Please uh, give it a try. If you've got any questions or any issues, let me know. I'll be happy to help. I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.